Hey all, Aaron here, and today I wanted to bring you another installment highlighting my latest flub, sometimes called a quick tip. Anyway, the other day I was working with this imported model and I got stuck. When I went to click and drag parts to investigate the construction, nothing would move. No matter if I was selecting a face, a body, a component, a vertex, it didn't matter. As you probably know, working with newly imported models happens without capturing history by default. This is indicated by the absence of the timeline. What I learned the other day is that if you want to move parts of these, what I'll call history impaired models, you need to turn on a specific selection option, component drag. Once that's on, I get the click and drag ability I've come to expect. And as long as I haven't made other subsequent changes, I can just as quickly undo those moves. I probably miss this because with all the mistakes I make, I almost always prefer having that history. That said, Let's turn on the option to capture my design history, and you'll see that option we previously used went away. But I can still click and move components like I expect. In the history based design, I have the ability to capture the position or revert the position. Which in my eyes, helps explain why you're required to turn on that special component drag option in the first place. It would be hard to get everything back in its place again, and as Bryce showed last week, using as built joints to assemble imported models is crazy efficient. And what else is efficient is our new ability to mirror those components. Thanks for joining me today. I hope by me posting these you avoid the mistakes that I've made. Cheers.